Okay. Well, morning, mate. Hello and welcome to Whitewater Football and with me is possibly one of the greatest rugby league legends ever to uh, pace this earth and here he is, Paul Donkin. Paul, a big game today, how do you see it? Well mate, I think it's going to go the way that everyone thinks it's going to go. I uh, feel it's going to go to Castle Hill somehow. It's going to go to Castle Hill and what makes you say that? Is well, it the mate, dropping of Sykesy? Well Sykesy, yeah, he didn't have a real good game last week but I'm telling you, he's got something there that's a bit of art later on in the second half he came out. But I think uh, he's just showed a bit of punishment with uh, Phil Host to Sykesy. So, you know, he might come out when he's replaced back in the second half. And back in the second half and probably winning the game. And uh, what, what if Brownie? Can he do it again? Oh, Brownie, mate. He, you know, he's a player of the future. I mean, teams, teams have left him out of other sides, but I mean, the man deserves to be in first grade. I mean, he's, he's unbelievable. I'll tell you what, he goes close to being a standard footballer as me. In oh, my category. I thought that too, mate. Similar, similar body, similar pace, similar yeah. ball skills. Yeah, well, I seen him in the shower once, but uh, uh, he really hasn't got all the body. Back uh, Back to the football field. Yes, um, yes sorry. we have the Daly messenger of the team, uh, Peter Bowd. Mate, the foreign player, he really gets that footy card done well. I mean, there's a lot of photos of him in the old action copy there. Book, mate, yeah, copy book, copy book, yeah. I, I, I find he's got a lot of skill, but the only problem is he likes him these weights. I think, he, I think he wants to lift more than the bar, mate. He wants to put a few, <laughs> few dumbbells on the end of him because he really is not a big person, is he? Speaking of dumbbells, the, the coach, Phil, Phil Host. Oh, uh, Phil Host. Has he prepared the team well, do you think? Well, I, you know, Hosty, he's, well, he's had his day in coach, and I think, um... Time for the young men like yourself well, to move you in? you know, like I've, I've, got, I've got young teams running around in the, in the lower grades and doing fine. I think Hosty just wants to think about retirement because there's a lot of money in the end for Hosty. Don't, let, let him go down on a good note, not on a bad note. Well, I've always said about Phil Host, his, his, his position in the game is in the administration of the game, not necessarily on the field or coaching. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree. I mean, he's a good worker. He gets the onions and the, the stakes for the team, you know, before the game. But uh, he does a fine job, yeah. I think Hosty and uh, Dave Daly should stand down this year and, you know, give the club just the administration they need, the right direction, and then let the coaches uh, go on from there. Jeff Cowling, A-grade coach? Jeff Cowling's got a lot of uh, knowledge of the game, but I don't think you get it across. I think Blake's like your... Donkin? Oh, no, well, you know, don't put myself in there because I've probably been getting better offers from Cronulla and Manly mm -hmm. and stuff like that, so... Uh... Is that with your Donnie McMartin connections? Well, Johnny McMartin, well, he's an old man. I don't. I think he's a bit senile. I think too many scrums have he's packed into him, mate. So I think, you know, a bit punch drunk, probably, mate. Yeah. But I don't know. You know, there's players here like Bowdy. He's got all the skills and copy book right down. So he's probably looking at second grade coach myself. Second grade coach for Bowdy. Yeah. First grade coach still undecided, mate. Yeah, still undecided. Anyway, back to back to the game uh, today. Any, any danger men in the opposition? Do you actually? How about Tez Hasler, uh, number ten? Oh. Yeah, young Tessie Asler, well... Is he as good as his brother? Well... You know, Brian has yeah, the place third, has third the, grade for yeah, Napoleon. Napoleon, yeah. yeah. Well, no, he's sort of probably just a bit fresh and better. I think he's got the, all the skills in there. He drops a bit of ball in that, but still likes to have a big hit, mate. Yeah, he has a big hit. And Catherine McCauley on the wing? How do you think she'll go? Well, Catherine McCauley on the wing, well, I, I've known, known heaps of girls at Catherine McCauley or with Catherine McCauley. Mm, mm, mm. A lot of fat women there go to <laughs> Catherine McCauley, but it doesn't really matter. No, he's, 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 he'll do his job. You, you don't like fat people? Well, I'm a fat person myself. I don't know whether he's really noticed, but uh, yeah, they're okay. They're okay. <laughs> Why down good lens, yes. <laughs> good one, Spoonsy. Spoonsy, keep it up, but this is ours. <laughs> well, I, I'll right. tell you, I, I like... Back to, to the run, match, back to the match. Yeah. I just like to run down on, um, on Castle Hill. I mean... There's a lot of fine players in there. I, I have uh, a lot of time for uh, Sheridan. I think he's a fine player. Never lets you down in the back line there. I mean, safe as a bank. No always, man. always beats the first man. Always beats the first man. Yeah, for, he's a fine player. He never, you know, I don't think I've seen him knock on. He had a great game against uh, uh, Uni last week. But you know, there was only him and uh, Say Brian and a couple of other blokes that, that put in the effort. I think today, if they go out and put all in the big effort with Sheridan and O'Brien and uh, Say or you know, like like Fitzsimons, if he can run out wide. I mean, Fitzsimons, uh, has, he, has he actually moved into prop or was that a bit of pre-game pre -game jokes, was it? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, you know, Strategy by Hosty? Yeah, I mean, Sykesy, I think he deserves just a bit of a rest and think about his game. So I think Fitzsimons might be there, mate, yeah. But uh, no, apart from that, I, I think Castle will be too strong in the day. Too nice. Well, the thank day. you very much, Paul, and uh, we'll pass it back to the commentary team. Thank you. Phil uh, Host there, a bit of a worried man, but I think he'll pull it out today. Here he is, a bit nervous, not much smile on the man's face after week, last week's game. Who can blame him?
A living legend? A living, a living legend. Living legend, much like yourself, mate. Yeah. As big a mon monument to the game as yourself, I'd say. There's a fine man. He's done a great job. Let's just hope he thinks about next year's season. There's uh, Nobsy just talking to him. Could be on. O'Brien could be on from the start. No, he's back to the bench. Uh, Terry Tunkinus and the uh, sideline men, Glenn Reese and Bruce Crossman. And we're just about to kick off. Mount St Mary's to receive. Castle to kick off. There's Luke back to the moves in. Puts it deep into the 25. There he is, young uh, Hasler. It's brought down short of the quarter line by Goodwin and Ipso. A bit more keenness in the Castle Hill side. Oh, there's a big man, and you thought I was big, ladies and gentlemen, but have a go at that. Not too much defence down here on the blind side. A bit short. We've got Trevor there. They've gone to the open button. Just one out of Ipso, and Baxter there, retaining. Bit of a scuffle there. Baxter always seems to be in a scuffle. He'll go the kick. Kicks it deep over the halfway line. There he is, the man with the save his hands, Sheridan. He beats one once again. So he's caught about 10 metres out from the halfway line. Here's Tony Howell or Kevin Hollands. Which, which one would you like to call him? I think we'll, we'll call him Kev today, I think, mate. There similar we Playing styles, similar height, similar, uh, what would, how would you say it, mate? Similar heads, age. Yeah, close to it. Luke Baxter now. He moves it up. Oh, good busting run there. He's made it about five metres short of the quarter. It goes to him, so now the copybook play about the Douglas. He refuses to pass the ball. O'Brien always seems to not get enough of the ball, but here we go. Goodwin now. He takes the quarter as a penalty. It's going to be early points. What do you think, Mick? Oh, well, they'll, they'll definitely go for it, I think. I don't know if they'll get it, though. I'm expecting a big game from Douglas today. He's returned my hat, and I, I think that'll prime him up for a big game. They're going for the two. Brownie, can he do any more today? Oh, mate, that, the man is magic. If he can kick goals, well, he's got the man of the match straight away. What a player. Well, we may as well uh, turn it off now because we decide the man of the match points. Uh, Wally Lewis, number one. <laughs> yes, always, mate, always. Brownie, he's taken this back about 10 yards. He's now about 30, uh, 30 yards out. This could be difficult. I don't think he'll get it. How about you, Paul? I just hope he kicks it dead, mate. I, I can't see him getting it, but if he kicks it dead, that's what all the team needs. This could be that old Parramatta move of the uh, early 80s where the winger, big Tony Howe, goes in for a try in the well, corner. He, well, he's keen out there. Have a look at him. Just have a look at Tony Howe out there. Look how keen he is. He's G'd up to run up real quick. You just watch the man as he moves in. Oh, he's, he's hooked that right. He hasn't even kicked it dead. That's a big deep deep uh, dead ball on it, but oh, well, well tackled by Douglas and Dave Ryan. Well, that's a big boy there. Who is that? that that'd be uh, Cashy Shetty. I don't think he'll be on for the whole game. I can't see him. There's a great tackle by Ipso now. I've moved in with Boylan. And so it's out. That pass was forward. I think the ref was conned a bit there. I don't really think that pass was forward. It's just the player was in front of the ball, but he did catch the ball behind him. I think that was a bad decision by Tunkinus, but who am I to say? He was there. You're not really anything to say, mate, but just keep it up and you're doing a good job. <laughs> Thank you, big fella. CCES to feed, this could be their big chance. I think already uh, Mount St Mary's are bustled. I mean, it's only short, but still bustled. Can't get out of their own 24. Just have a look at Bowdy at 580. He's even got the copybook stance. And they've lost it against the feed. They did this last week. They refused to win the ball with their own feet. I think Ipso must do something about it, or Phil Host must say something to the hooker in the half. That's a nice hit. That was a nice hit there by Fitzsimons. Well cut out there too by Douglas. Throw a blanket over Mount St Mary's, but that's a fine run. They're not moving up. There's Brownie again with Boylan. Bit of a scuffle with Duggo. He's thrown a punch. They're still talking. On with the play, but he's kicked that. That'll just go over the halfway line. Back to Sheridan. Oh, oh, bouncing, bouncing, he's gone he'll, down. He'll still beat one, he always does. Except for this time. Well, he's made a good few yards, that's all you need for a fullback. Here's Kev Hollands. This is where Kev is very strong. He always makes yards, except for when he passes. Ball and nice fine run by a hooker. Oh, good one. Man, should never go dummy half. He has no ball skills whatsoever. He's just a meathead forward. I mean, this is danger. They should just run him up all day. That's a good tackle from Kev Hollands. He's got that big boy. He's got him down low. Like I said last week, the bigger they are, mate, 
The harder they fucking fall. Oh, oops, a bit, a bit of a beep out there, I think. Kev Holland's caught out here. Ooh, Watch this. They've gone spin it wide. Here's a chance. They've got room, but Kev Holland's has covered it well. Oh, we're missed tackled. Come on, that's dangerous, CC. Yes. That's <laughs> you. Last tackle here. They'll go for a chisel or a, a bomb. He's run at the blind. Short kick in. This could be a try, is it? No, CCS ball about five metres out. Well done by Kev Hollands again. He's my man in a match so far. I don't know about you, Paul. You'd be looking at Brownie? Brownie, of course, mate. Of course, always Brownie. He's going off this referee. He's going to be real strict with the one arm there. I mean, he's, all the penalties have gone one way. Well, you know how it is, mate. They give the penalties in the... The defensive team's 25, so they can't kick for goal. That's a standard refereeing tactic these days. Well, I thought Greg Hartley was gone, but this bloke is back. Fine kick there. Who kicked that, Brownie? Me in the match, mate. Okay, let's see what they can do here. They're just outside their 25. And uh, boiling now. They take the tap, 10 metres in. Ipso standing up there. There must be a move on here. He goes to Ipso. Mm -hmm. And now Fitz Simons, he's run more and made a great yard. He's there. Beautiful run. He's made it up about five yards from the from the halfway. He's Baxter. He got to use it. Here's a gap there, a huge gap. He's broken one. He's up the sideline. Oh, but he's gone into the touch. Well, Brownie always there. Brownie always there to feed up the scraps. I think I think if Baxter would have put it on a bit earlier, I think he might have. Uh, been hard to catch, but then again, he seemed to stop and start and stop and start when didn't know where to pass it well, you or can't not. Take it off him. It was a 30-yard run. I thought it was a pretty nice run there for Baxter. It wasn't bad. That's a good push, and we've won the won the ball. It goes to Bowd. He's going to take it himself. Well done, because they were right up on the centres end. He's thinking all the time. This Bowdy. He always hurt too. Baxter now with the ball. Bring it blind. That's good work by Baxter. Seems to be turning and starting. He should just run out. He's flash. He'll be hard to stop. This will be in the corner. He's a hard man to stop this close. It is a try. Flash into the corner. Great try there by the CCS. They just pushed and pushed in their own 25. Caught short by Mount St. Mary's. I mean, they've just been in a big huddle all game. They throw a blanket over him. A good try there by Flash. Missing last week's game. I think that's what they needed. A man like Flash that could run with the ball and also defend. Good work. He's Brownie now. will attempt the uh, kick. He's, he's right on the sideline. I, he didn't get that one in a bit closer, so I, I feel he can't get it. His kick would be another five yards longer. I don't think he can do it. But a beautiful run there by Flash. Uh, it was good work by CCS. The ball initially went to the open, and they saw the gap on the blind, and they brought it back. Beautiful work. It was fine, weren't they? I mean, a robust runner like that, big Flash. I mean, have you seen that man naked? I mean, have you seen the size of it? He, the size of his... Uh, yeah, thighs. thighs. Very big thighs on the man. Beautiful thighs, actually. He's Brownie now. He's about to, oh, what a yard in from touch. Uh, a lot of concentration. Moves back. See what happens here. I think a lot of time. Moves in now. Oh, it's waved away to the right. Not even got the height or the distance. Uh, there you go, CCE, 4-0. I'd say, what are we into, about the eighth minute of the game? Oh, I'd say we might have gone a bit longer than that, probably the ninth. Thanks a lot. by the number nine CCE player, Paul Gillen, score 4-0. Who gave that other guy a microphone? We're the only ones with microphones around here. Doesn't he know the big fella's on? OK, restart the game. Here we go, it's a high kick. It's gone right out over the quarter line. I think we'll go to Paul Gillen. No... Tony Howe now with the ball. Good little run there. He's moved up to the quarter line. Okay, ball and then here comes Flash. Flash, hard runner. He penetrates there tight. Beautiful. He's boiling again. He goes to Ipso. Ipso switches back to the point. A good one. Gives it out to Fitzsimons. He's caught with the ball. Good tackle. Okay, Tony Howe again. He goes to Goodwin. Oh, he's caught a knock on. Well, what do you think about that? Was there a knock on there or not? Uh, sorry, mate, I was looking at all the people leaning on the car and bumping the car that we're filming from, mate. Uh, sorry about that, it's, it's bloody disgusting. It's worse than the football stadium for commentary teams up here, mate. Well, as Rex once said, you know, they're just as bad as kids running onto the field after uh, after the game. How much do you hate that? Don't talk to me about it. Anyway, back to the play. It's out to the 5-8. What's he going? Beautiful tackle from Bowdy. He doesn't get it down. That'll be Baxter. 
He's through, is he? No, he's tackled there. That's well held. They should swing it out. Swing it out to the left. Same side they scored last time. Get up and play it quick. Here it goes. Out to Ipso. Ipso under Brownie. What'll he do? No, oh, I think they've decided to settle it down. Back to the pattern. Well, I just want to make a comment on Luke Baxter. I mean, he just stops and starts and swivels back in. There's, there's Goodwin. He's no, uh, no backup then. But anyhow, Baxter just doesn't seem if he put on, he's got mountain thighs on him. There's Fitzsimons up to the halfway. Last tackle now. What goes on? Boylan now. Goes to Ipso. He'll just grub that out. No, well taken there by the winger. Please, Starlo. We'll take it by Fenn. Fenn moves across. Oh, he's got him now. The one arm goes. CCS were a bit wide out, uh, weak outside and the defence, so that could have been a lucky penalty for them, I think, because uh, Strathfield were thinking about spreading it, but the penalty came. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I think uh, CCS haven't uh, sort of gone on after their try. They seem to be lapsing a bit. I don't know whether it's the heat. I mean, it's a nice, uh, sunny, beautiful day here today. Well, there we go. It's a, uh, about on the quarter line. Here's a hooker. Zine. Run around there, back inside now to Hasler. He's caught on the quarter line by Brown. So uh, back there's a nice wide runner there, caught by Bowd, Goodwin, and uh, it's so thrown in his two ball worth there. Goes a little dark fella. Oh, they're short out here. Try on. Oh, well. Look at this. Oh, I thought it was going to go on, but no, that'll be a scrum. I was a bit lucky for uh, college there. They were weak outside. They seem to be a bit, uh, the defence bunching a bit and there's gaps outside for uh, Strathfield if they move it. I just can't seem to, you know, you score a try, you go on with the game. You don't just give up now. The boys will have to be wrapped over the knuckles at half-time by Phil Host. And this is disgusting, but they won the ball. He's got to be offside. He's caught him, referee... Dunkinus. Uh, Dunkinus. Dunkinus. We'll call him Terry. We'll just call him Tez. Luke Baxter now to uh, kick for touch. There we go, that's a fine kick. Uh, it could be a chance Luke Baxter will come on for goal kicking if Brownie uh, keeps up this effort, although they have been very difficult kicks for Brownie, I realise that. And he is a fine player. But uh, already Luke Baxter doing the kicks for touch, I thought that was Brownie's, Brownie's field. Yeah, well now it goes to Boyle and he'll take the tap, I'd say, what, to five metres short of the halfway. Goes to Ipso, the Boyle and now to Fitzsimons. Hard run, he's made to the halfway line. Boyle and now at dummy half. He goes to Ipso again. Goodwin running wide. He's made way over the halfway line. About nine metres over the halfway line. Boyle and now to Ipso. He gives it out to Bout. He's short out here. Douglas must give the ball. He's given it to O'Brien. Too, too late, though. It's got to go quicker. If so, oh, what's going on here? Well, Phil Host has told them to take it to the blind a bit more than they did last week, but I think that blind was just a bit too narrow. Well, just have a look at Douglas now. What the hell can that player do there? I mean, he's offside. How far is he offside? If the referee wanted to do something about it, he could have penalised. Here's Sheridan now, though. Oh, great chase. He's caught him with Ipso. Oh, there's... Well, there's a, a bit of a punch thrown there by Ipso. They've tried the ball. Oh, bad decision by the referee. Lucky for uh, Castle Hill, though. Big push needed here. Here we go now, as you look down. I'm a bit worried about uh, Douglas's fitness. He's, uh, see, he's, he's encroaching in on the 5'8". He's not out wide like he should be. And on that kick through, as you said, he was 10 yards in front of the kicker at the kick, and he was 10 yards behind the kicker by the time the kicker got up to do the tackle. I think he's a bit tired. I think it's got something to do with his knees, mate. I think uh, he hasn't got any. Oh, great break there by Sheridan. Still looking, still running. But Douglas just didn't seem to be deep enough. I mean, deeper. here he goes. He switches now to Baxter. Here's a chance. Baxter still swiveling. It's try time. time. Baxter in. Well, there you go. He's run a bit straight, a bit hard. He, he stopped the start of the beginning, but then again, he went on with it. That's what he's got to do, Baxter. He's got to run straight. He's got to learn that he tippy-toes too much, but that was a beautiful example of what he can do when he runs straight. That's right. He, I mean, he, the mean is unbelievably huge thought, so I think he's just got to run harder and, and straighter. And 
this will be all over, mate. This, will, this game will be over by half time. Mate, it could already be over now. CCS, they've got to concentrate on defence from now on and keep that straight running. OK, Brownie now, the move in. What can he do with this one? It's high enough. Oh, but it's just waved away. So it's only 8-0, I mean, there's... Oh, get that microphone off that goose! Get him away, mate. He's got no idea. He obviously hasn't been to radio school. He's got no idea. Mate, well, I pay good money to go to uh, that big fat fella, you know, on uh, Perfect Map. What's his name? Max Rowley. I went to his school. What, me and you went there for how many years? Two years. And this bastard gets down on a microphone and thinks he's unreal. Well, there we go. Oh! Sure sign of teams cracking sure up, Sure sign of teams going down. That's Jeff Cowling will tell you that, mate. Stratfield, I think they've gone for my money. Mate, I, th I think you're right there, mate. Stop What's rocking the boat here. What's worried me, I've just looked down and I've noticed that there's one particular player missing out of today's game after last week's game, having a fine game. And uh, who would that be, Paul? Well, he was running around when I was just a toddler, and I think we all know who that was, eldest man in rugby league. Johnny McMartin. Johnny McMartin. What a man, what a wimp, what a week. They'll miss him too, but... Back to the game, Brownie, he's through. They're about uh, 18 yards out, and they're coming on the ball. Flashy was keen, but it's gone to the blind. Sheridan, he's tackled there. Back in the same place, but they're trying stuff. They're going the blind like hasty title. Now it's back's ball. Bowdy, coffee book pass, he hasn't got time. Well, that was a terrible pass there by Ipso. I mean, it was terrible. Right I thought Bowdy couldn't do anything with it. Good one no. now, good solid run. This will go. It's going to the blind again. They're going to hammer it. No, it's back. Oh, gee, that's gone straight back. They went for the field goal. I tell you what, he's got it, but he called it touched in flight. So that'll go back to a... Uh, the, the referee doesn't know, so how are we expected to know? Oh, Tunkinus, he's having a terrible game, isn't he, Terry? Yeah, well, he I, doesn't know the I rules, mate. I remember when he was around in about 62. He had no idea then. He still hasn't got any idea. Oh, no well, idea whatsoever. So it is the goal on dropout. He's finally made up his mind. And back to the play. That's a poor kick, too. That's only gone 35 well, he yards. He's a man that can do something with the ball. He's got a bit of... Well... Well, he'd lie a bit, I suppose. Maybe well, he's, he's got to run it to the backs. He knows that. He can't run it through the forwards. Balling now. He's taking it through. He's a very versatile hooker. Yeah, well, mate, he reminds me of the old Roy Simmons, you know, a bit stuck, a bit slow around the rug, but still not a, not a bad player, fine player. Oh, gee, what's Baxter doing? He's got all the skills, I know, but not on the third tackle. Yeah, well, you know, he goes hard sometimes and goes a bit weak the others. He's just got to put it all together and I'll go close to winning this comp. Easy. Well, they're already pretty close now, actually, and as it, that, that could have been forward. The referee called it. Actually, it wasn't forward. I was in line. I just said it could have been. That's another bad decision from Terry. Well, Should have been played on because it would have been uh, well, college's ball. That's what ball. I was going to say, mate. That's what I was going to say. Young Tez, he's just got to think about the big retirement with Dave Daly and Phil Host. <laughs> Good win here. Hip, hip so now. Oh, oh he's oh, offside, now. isn't he? Oh, is he? But it's going to be a try. Trev Fenn just diving the ball, that's fine work, he's kept in, I think that was well done there by Trev Fenn then. He had a bit of the sideline yips last week, but he's obviously keen to make up for it this week. Here they go, they're, they're still pretty crowded, he look at Baxter, he's not even looking at the ball. They've got to keep continually looking at the ball, he's brand now, oh he'll just take it up all day. Mate, when you don't know who's going to get the ball, who always ends up with it? Oh Brown, Brown always. Baxter now, what's he doing? I don't know if this is a tactic from Phil Host, but if it is, it's not a very good one. They're going for the field goals, they, they can make the yards. I honestly believe Luke Baxter plays his own game, refuses to listen to coach Phil Host. Well, the last uh, drop kick attempt was by Ipso, so I don't know what's going on out there. Well, we can hear you down, mate, that Phil Host is yelling out to Luke Baxter to settle down and don't do stupid things. Well, I don't know whether you'll listen, or I think he's got to, but if they want to win this game comfortably, it's only 8 0. Anyway, back to the game. That's a good hit there from Brownie again in Borland. They're about 30 yards out from their own in goal line. Now, this is the big fella. He won't be there in the second half, will he? Mate, you'll be lucky to make it at half time. I can give you the drum. Well, as I was saying you just earlier, you just have a look at Strathfield. They've got nothing to throw at, at Castle, but Castle still not playing the best football. Look, just have a look at this Strathfield. Well, they're, they're falling off tackles, though, Castle Hill. That could be an ominous sign. What will Trev do now? He's got, he knows he's got to stay away from that sideline, but he's run towards it. He's come back in, though. He's tackled right on the halfway line. Good tackle there from uh, Stratford. They're still keen. Some players still keen, the other players just seem to be having a look. He's flashed now. He's made a oh, robust run. What a player. He's having a blinder, isn't he? 
He'll get up and play it. He'd play it forward if he had the chance, don't you worry. Well, him and Brian are just holding forwards together, don't they? Fitz Simon's still running hard. They're a good, strong forward pack today. Here's Ipso. It's out to Trev. He's got a small blind there. Help him. They must help him. That's good work. He's a strong player. I think Trev could either use you know, use him in the uh, forwards as well as the back. He's a strong player. Here's Douglas giving it. Here's a chance. O'Brien, great show of class. Here he is. Oh! That's off the foot. The That's play on. Kev Hollands, he's got the ball. That's beautiful play. Only 10 yards out. Now it's the last tackle. What do they go for? Well, mate, they've got to just let it they go. They go on here. the blind. There's well, not much room out there. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. That's a terrible ruling. I don't know about well, you, Paul, but Terry is having a very bad game. Well, I'm telling you what, that was no mistake. I think the only mistake came from Douglas. What fool would do that on the last tackle? Run to the blind when they're only about two metres there. Well, Douglas, wake up. That's what I say. I tell you what, I think the refereeing selectors have made a bit of a mistake here. Where's Peter Casey when we need him? Well, he was on the touchline in third ground. I think he may get called back for uh, grand final day. And here he goes again. What does he want? A game of football or a refereeing display here, or what? Well, if this is what he calls a refereeing display, mate, I'd hate to see what he calls a game of football. Anyway, back to the play. This is uh, Strathfield's ball on about the, their own 45-yard line. He should make about 20 yards with this kick. They've got this 40 yards out from Poldings. What can they do now, Strathfield? They've been making a few gaps up the middle, but not too many. The, the well, big... have a look at the 10 yards here, will you? Look, that's at least 25. <laughs> Come on, Tez. Oh, I don't want the ball. Oh, did well, you hear that? you always got a clean in the crowd, haven't you? Yeah, Some idiot exactly. always yells out the old classic, that's... they don't want the ball. That's only the first call of that today. This big boy, he's still going. He got slammed back. He will not be here in the second half. He may as well leave now. He's done three runs, and that's all about He's all he's done, mate. Oh, back to Gallo. Come on, son. You and Sykes won't even see the grand final the way he's <laughs> going. Well, that's a scrum touch judge in. Look at this. Oh, who's who coming off? Who guess, guess who's coming off? Will it be Cascietti? He is. He is. I told you. What did I pick? Didn't they make that half time? What a player. What a heart. What a gut. Well, no real surprise there that Cascietti came off. He's made his damage. He's done his three runs. If that's what Strathfield calls damage, I don't know. It's out. Here's a gap again, Sheridan. He's having a good game. He's a good fullback. You see that tackle of the other fullback there. No shoulder judge. What skinny fullback does shoulder charges? <laughs> Ask me. I think you'll find Stalinovic uh, from uh, SRA. He doesn't mind a bit of shoulder charge. And mind you, he's in the number 18 jersey because he can't fit the number one on. So he's a big boy. He can afford to do it. Backs are stopping and starting. He's still going, though. Still not making. He should have gone straight there and there's a gap. He would have made at least oh, 30 yards. But here we go. If it's on, oh, it's over now. He's kicked. That'll be too big. Well, mistake after mistake, Mick. They've done it last week. It cost them the game. Who's your side this week? Well, mate, they could be in trouble. I'd just like to go back to that uh, run-up that Baxter did. I mean, it was a good run, but he lifted his elbow in there. That's dangerous. We want him on the team. We want him on the field for the semis and for the grand final. He's got to not lift that elbow. You know, we might be bagging Baxter, but then again, I suppose he's in there having a go and he's trying to do his best, but he's just got to think to himself, what is he doing? You know, mate, we can't be in two places at one time. We had to either comment or uh, play... Well, here we go, wait, Brian. Oh, he's just thrown a hospital pass, but Kev Holland's with the ball. Well, there was a two-man over there, Mick, and uh, young Douglas, I don't know what, what he thought he was, Wally Lewis, or he was a bit of Reg Gazney or Wally Lewis combined, because that was a stupid ball. I mean, he should have broken a bit more and then looked for his support. Kuran now with the ball. Is that Pat Prio walking onto the field, shaking hands with Duggo, welcoming him to the third grade side? It, it may be, but I'll tell you what, I hope it isn't because third grade would really like to win the grand final. He's bound now. He's still going. A step and a jink. Oh, what a player. He's moved up to 25 yards. He's boiling now. They've got to go the blind. But no, they go to the open. He's back to... Oh. Here he goes and chips straight in the fullback's arms. Well, Luke... Thanks for the season. I was just about to say before that happened, if they put the kick in here, that's that's my bloody game, mate. What can you do? Well, there's Brown again with a great defence. There's Dago still having a go, I suppose. Get off him. Look, well... Dago, a bit slow to get up. It's the knee. It's, and now he's complaining. He's going to give away 10 yards, is he? Well, yeah, just don't argue with a referee like this. Well, but a funny move there from Stratford. They could have made 30 yards with the kick, but they elected to make 10 yards with the run. Well, he's a big fellow running on with the ball. His name's Burke. Here we go now. Oh, look at the new replacement there. D. Hatton. I think he's related to Tony Hatton, if anyone knows Tony Hatton. 
Oh, he's another scampering run there. Oh, he's danger. They've made at least 40 yards. Tony out now catching him. O'Brien bringing him down. They've worked on the 25 yard. They've made. Have a, a look at Baxter down here on the sideline. He's, he's he's bloody behind the Stratford fullback, mate. Well, I think uh, Phil Hazel will have to have a look seriously at a couple of players out there today, and he's one of them. There's Hazel and he are still running strong enough. Fitzsimons brings him down five yards over the 25. They're pushing now for a try. It's, they're not out of this game by any means. Here's a chance. Oh, but brought down, save five yards from the try line. Here we go. They switch to the blind. There's a long pass to the bounty now. He switches her back into the lock. But he'll go out, I feel. He is. Stupid mistake switching her back then. What do you feel, Mick? Well, this is a, it was a stupid mistake, and this is a pretty crucial uh, scrum here. I think if uh, Polding lose this one against the feed, they could be in trouble, and they've already lost one against the feed. Well, it just shows the class of these teams. I mean, uh, you know, if, if they would have thought about it, they, that was a try. But there we go. We've started with the ball now. Sheridan on a dummy half. He runs it himself. He makes it up to the 25. He's broken. Ooh, one. He always seems to break that first. There's Boylan now. No runners. He gives it to Fitzsimons on the blind. Walking. He gives it back to Boylan. Here's a chance. They've made it over the 25. Tony Howe, six to go. Good call there by the referee. First good decision Terry's made, I'd say, mate. Oh, he's a good one. What can he do with the ball? He's, oh, my. Well, Brownie, it was a bad pass. Don't worry about it, son. Baxter chases, misses. He's, he's still running. Oh, but O'Brien puts him down. Bit of a cry in the background, but it doesn't really matter. Fenn takes him down. With him, so they switch it out to wide. Here he is, Burke, brought down on a 25 yard line. Oh, Fitzsimons. Oh, he is a big, robusting forward in Burke. Well, they're going close to scoring here. Big holes appearing in Folding's game. They've got to tighten it up. And here it goes out wide. There's plenty of gaps out here. Bad pass. They went for the cutout. Should have just kept that backline movement going. Well, Lo Wally Lewis must have been at uh, Stratfield's training run on Tuesday and Thursday. A lot of long, wild, woolly passes going on there. I couldn't argue with you there, Paul. And we've got another scrum here. Again, Polding have got to win it. And then they've, on about the third or fourth tell, they've got to get that ball downfield. You can't win a football game from your own half. That's right. Well, I mean, the whole game has been made up of scrums and silly mistakes. And Terry's bloody whistle, mate. Yeah, well, Tess likes to blow his whistle. He likes to blow something. I don't know what it is. Leave that sort of thing to the bedroom, mate, and just get on with refereeing the game. Oh, hang on. Sykes is warming up. I don't know who it is. Or is he just running? No, he's, he's really dying to go to the toilet. No. Well, that's a huge kick. Kev Holland's now to get the ball and throw it into Boyland. He's a, he's a complete wing at uh, Kev Holland's. He does everything. He knows to get the ball and pass it into the hooker. He's brilliant. He's having a great game. Fine game. He's flash now. Turning it back inside, still running, he's broken through. What a play, he's still going, runs in the referee. Gives it a share of though, and he's brought down and into the half of... I thought Terry was going to do the old rule, the player touched him, so we'll have a scrum, but he, he did well there. Well, O'Brien now, he gives it a Fenn, Fenn's got all the pace, but he, oh, he coughs up the pill. Beautiful pass from Trev there, and he's gone out. Well, O'Brien, he done the fine thing. He just stood there, bonded his time, held his ground, and threw the little wimp out, eh? What a player. What a guy. Know him. Know him, mate. I know him. Know him? No, nah, I'm not going to say it. I slept with him. <laughs> well, here we go. Another scrum. A scrum after a scrum after a scrum. Baxter must get his socks up. Ipso now. Runs straight into the halfback. Oh, there's a lot of lot of cool there from the bench. Oh, stop, start. Might have been stop-start, but he made 12 yards. No, I thought that was a good run there from Baxter. He's trying things. He's thinking about he's, his game. He stop-starts, but when he has put his mind on a hard, strong run, look at the yards he's made. He's brown. What a player. Tell you what, that's the uh, 15th uh, dummy run Goodwin's done in the, uh, in the game so far, but he uh, tries taking the ball up. Goodwin hasn't got many brains in his handle. He's not real good, so I think that's what they keep him to. <laughs> this has got to be a kick for goal. Who's taking it? Everyone's discussing who will take it. Baxter's, well, well, that's Armin and Armin, and finally Brownie decides to take it. There you go, 
Back at the game, I think this is Brownie's easiest kick. I think he'll uh, get this. He's got a lot of talent, Brownie, and I think this this will uh, boost his confidence back up. He'll start getting those ones from the sideline. It's up. Oh, my dear. It's uh, not a confident kick. He's still hanging his head, but he's got the two points, and that's what counts. I make that 10-0 uh, to uh, Polding. Well, you, you're correct there, Michael. Well, uh... I don't think Strathford. Oh my God, Russ, what does he want to do? There goes that guy on the microphone again. Why doesn't he leave that to the experts? I think I might go down and have a bit of a biffo with him at half time somehow. You like a bit of biff? I like anything that moves, mate. If I don't move, I kick it. Bit of a pun on words here, but anyhow. Still looking for a ball. He goes. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, that's the world record for the shortest ball boy, I do believe. He'd be what? One foot six? Nothing. Ooh, one, one four, mate. He's got to be looking at. He'll be on just for the record this week, I think. That'll be a good program. <laughs> Great program. That's a good interview, that little boy. Don't you worry. Well, it's taken him ten minutes to get this football. What a game. Slow. Oh, nothing they're, they're nothing delaying. spectacular. They're delaying, mate. They're, they're a bit worried. They want to get into that dressing shed. They want to rest. Trick kick off. Well, I don't know whether it's going to work. It's straight back to the safest man ever, Sheridan. Well, a bit of a jog here. Well, he just blaps it on, breaking one, the first one always. Boylan now, dummy half. Ipso moves in for the run around. Back to Boylan, Baxter, a good dummy, swivels. Back, it has to be a penalty. Well, he's lost, what, eight, eight metres there? Uh, he's got to run straight. He's got the power. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Well, Phil Hayes, come on, think about, about what you're doing at half time. More can be said. He's got to prey on the sideline. Why doesn't he use him? Silly question. Sorry. Very silly question. Never bring Michelle to pray in there. <laughs> Solano, Tony McGabe. Oh, look. All winners. When you're a winner, all losers want to do is knock you off. This also happens in life. Thank you, Tony. Great comments here from a total goob. As we move on, the big... I think uh, Strathfield using the slow tactics. I don't know why, because they're behind, mate. Well, they want to get into that shed, mate. They need the rest. They, they're in disarray. They want to talk to the coach, or the coach wants to talk to them. I think that'll be a pretty <coughs> noisy dressing shed, mate, because they're a team in disarray. Who disarray? She, was, she works here in the brothel, doesn't she? Desiree, she's a nice young girl, Desiree, and I won't hear anything about her. Well, there you go, that's 10-2. They're not out of this game by far. They are not, they're still in it, and if Terry's got anything to do with it, they'll be in it a bit more, don't you worry. Second half, just watch Terry. <laughs> well, well, there we go again. Oh, Sorry, that he didn't put the inflection on the right uh, part of the words, he's got no idea. No idea, well... Castle must work for a try before half time, I feel. There he goes, back to the kick. Well, they've let that go. Oh, well, sure sign. Who did that kick off? Well, Luke Baxter, it wasn't that good. I think they just made a few goobs. No, he's doing it. Baxter, he's just got to think a bit more. He's powerful. He's, he's got all the skills, he's just got well, to learn to him. concentrate them. Well, mate, I, I must come back to it. He, I've seen him play some fine games, some magic games. But just today, he's just trying to prove too much. But well, there's Brown. Get Brownie off the kickoff. That This is danger. Well, danger. look at that. Look at the palm, mate. Well, he's just dragged that player with him. He's flash now. He'll run across field. He pushes off one, pushes off two, pushes off three. Sharon will be under there. That's what I wanted to try. Oh, he's been held up. Must come blind, must come blind. Well, there's Boylan trying to push his way over. Still not over, though. Spin the ball. They're offside. There's oh, Sharon and now to back to He's spinning again. Well, they've only got a three-man overlap out there, Polding. I don't know if they'll use it. I think there's about four men over there, mate. Oh, good one. What are you doing? Oh, but he's... Well, if so, well, last tackle. They've used four tackles on the line. They've still got two-man overlap out there. Are they going to use it? Oh, terrible, terrible play there from college. Oh, well, four, ta four tackles there, and then it'll be the last tackle before half time. Well, Castle, think about your game. Big toilet there by Phil Ace, not happy. Still with a frown on his face. If we can pan down there, uh, spoons down onto him. So he walks away, hanging his head. Not many smiles on there. A lot of coon reserves, though. So, anyway, like last week, Paul, chances of Dupre coming on? Hope not, mate. 
and now back after this break. Thank you. Phil Host uh, probably had a bit to say to his boys. They're winning, but not uh, strong enough. So let's see they'll receive the ball, see what they can do in this first five to ten minutes, eh? Yeah, huge tool probably gone into Strathfield. I mean, they're behind the eight ball and doing a lot of stupid things. They bombed two chances of scoring. So uh, probably we're in for a big second half. Big Tez will want to control the play a bit more and get rid of his penalties. No reserves on, as we can see, as he starts playing again. That'll go over the quarter line, down to Baxter. Well taken then. Now to Brown. He runs it up. He's met the quarter line. Breaking one, but a solid hit there by Desi Asler. There's Baxter. He's run hard. He's still knocking him off. Well, there's Boylan now. He's made no yards, but still pretty strong. Ipso now. Goodwin running wide. He's trying to dummy again. There's Brown. So they've gone wide. They're going to want to go one more wide. There we go. Ipso now. He's gone for the kick for the line. It's a fine kick over the halfway line. Great kick. Well, a fine start here for Castle Hill there. Mick? Yeah, it's a good start from Castle Hill. Um, beautiful take by Baxter. Like I said, he's got all the skills. He's just got to learn to concentrate them. That's right. Well, comments from the super coach. What's going on here? Waiting for a ball. Bad organisation here. Well, we just like to... Uh, well, we've got the break. Just to thank the, uh, the first aid people. They're looking lovely in their nice white overalls with a big red cross on their back. I especially like the uh, touch with the red Akubra, mate. Beautiful. The red Akubra is fine, mate. They really, really go ahead in style now. The old Red Cross, but now back to the play now. It's a win to Strathfield. They give it out of the 5 8. Well caught there by Baxter. I think Baxter's pl actually playing the role as lock, uh, 5 8. Uh, sweeps out wide. That's a good run. Fine run. But he's been caught by Douglas Brown and Ipso. They swing it back in the middle. That's Hatton. He's made it up to uh, 10 metres into the uh, castle little half. There's uh, Burke now. Oh, strong run. He's been running strong all day. Hard man of all down. He's close, built close to the ground. And there's Hasler. Last tackle now. Let's see what uh, Strathfield can do with the ball. Well, it's a high, high, Gary Owen. Sharon in there. Oh, beautiful take. So safe. Well, why isn't he offside, Mick? Safe as a condom, mate. I don't know. This Terry, he's got no idea, mate. No idea. Fitzsimons caught just outside the uh, try line there, about 10 metres out. Well, he's run for a little scam. He's boiling. He's still going. Will Goody take this run or not? Is he going to run a dummy run again? No, he's going to take it up this time. What will he do? Bad well, pass, he's, done well. he's done fine. Boiling now. He goes to Ipsa. Run around. Oh, well. Hatton had, uh, had seen that coming. Shame he didn't have the pace or the skill to pick the ball. It's Fitzsimons now, running across field, but he's made yards. So we need, he's about five short of the 25, Ipso now. Flash, well, he's a runner we all like to see with the ball. He's still got his arms free, well, no support. Standing out, must be a keep. Brown there, Boylan, now to Goodwin, he's gone the blind. Made no yards, he's turned it back into Ipso, lost ball, back to Boylan, well. Uh, no, I, don't, I, hate to, I hate to harp on it, mate, but that was another bad call by young Terence, or old Terence. Old, I think, would be a better adjective to describe him. Well, and just that just was a knockback. Just a Nord. That was definitely a knockback. Are we, are, are we on here? We're on, aren't we? <laughs> just, uh, commentators well, decided not that far in. Oh, gee, couldn't you predict that, eh? Well, Polding puts in a good push, so the referee thinks, what can I penalise him for? Well, we said at the first half, just before the uh, end of the first half, that Tez is going to come back and... Turn his arm back to uh, Strathfield's way just to get him back into the game because they're not out of it. Not out of it. Well, they're what? What would you say there, Mick? About 10 short of the uh, try line there? About 10 short, and I hope for their sake they've got something special planned for this, just this situation. Let's see what they've got. Out to the 5 8. On to Hatton, they like to use him. He replaced uh, Cascietti early on. We always knew he was going to replace him early on. What have they got? It's a bit like they've switched it to the blind side. They've got numbers out here. He'll be in. 
He's in that boy, they were weak out there, Polding. Bad play. Well, as we look back there, Fern had come across back into the middle, then saw the switch on, and I think he should have stayed out there on his wing. Well, well, the score remains at, what, 10-6. With a kick to come. Well, they've come out firing. I think their coach, um, Tony Williams, Tony Williams and Colin Reid, have gone in there and uh, stuck it right up, uh, Stratfield, and they're coming out firing. Well, I think they definitely needed that uh, Stratfield to stay in the game. Let's hope for Polding's uh, sake they... They say something in that huddle in there. There's something's got to be done. Stratfield have come out firing, and look at Kev Hollands. He hasn't even made the walk over to the group. I'm a bit disappointed about that. Uh, gee, he was having a fine wingers game too, but now he's done that classic thing, standing on the other side of the goalpost from the rest of the team. Well, mate, that just goes to they think they're an unreal, unbelievable player. Not everyone is as good as they think they are. I think they should get into the huddle, talk about what they're doing and get on with it because it is dangerous times here. If he kicks his ball, it's only 10-8. And, uh, you know, one more try, well, it's hard to sort of come back, especially in the second half. You haven't got all the time. Only 35 minutes of football. Here comes the kick. It's high. It's long enough. And it's over. That's a beautiful kick there. He worked that out. He knew his distance. He knew he just had to get it over the post. Beautiful work. Well, 10-8. Well, let's see what Castle can do. They've got to lift their head, lift their game, Cut out the silly right. mistakes, refuse to play in their own 25, just kick it all day. Uh, here he goes. At least the microphone man waited for us that time, but got to get him off. Got to get him off. Well, here goes. I think uh, it's time for Poling to start using their backs. Their forwards have gone well. they got to start swinging it out. They need a good deep kick off here. Let's see what they do. Well, you're right there where they've got to spin it wide because uh, they've caught both times their tries out wide. So they've got to use it well. There's a good defensive. Not the biggest kicks ever. Brought down by Boylan and Fenn. Goes wide there and brought down by Brownie once again with Fitzsimons. Bit of a quieter game. Well. Uh, yeah. Fitzsimons didn't play to the whistle there. He sacrificed himself to the penalty. But uh, yet again, Terry, uh, another bad decision. But at least it's gone Polding's way this time. Yeah, well, lucky. Yeah. Yeah, bad decision. Well... Stratfield not, not happy with that call, but he's Ipso to feed the scrum. They've just, oh, well, he's offside. Oh, come on. Here's the prop. He's got on. Well, Terry, come on. If you're really looking for that red flag, you've got it now, son. You've got the, well, you've got the blue. Mate, he'll be lucky to get a flag next week, I think. He'll be uh, sitting watching it from the sidelines, I think. I think he'll be with the Here red Here we go, Baxter. Yeah. So he's got all the skills. He's run it from lock there. Bit of aggression in that tackle, but a good good tackle. Now, back's ball now. Forget the forwards. Get it out. And here it goes. Brownie. Oh, well, that's all right. Brownie, he did well. Now it's got to go quick back. Play the balls. He's got to have a quick play of the balls. Baxter, too slow to his feet then. And talking and mucking around with the, the marker. Well, that's disgusting. Look at him walking back. It goes to ball. And if so, no runners there. Well, he's thrown a wild pass. Oh, come on, Carzalil. Fan called with the ball. They're all on the 10-yard line into, into Stratford. Well, there's Boylan with a great scurrying run for the blind. Now Fenn and Dummy Arbor, that's the last tackle. They've done nothing, they've gained no yards. Well, last tackle, well, there you go. Player at six and sevens is Castle Hill. Uh, thing I was firing, Strathfield firing up now. Castle Hill got to contain all these hat and he'll run all day. Look, he's a big man too. Been caught 10 yards short, halfway line, well. No runners there for the hooker then with uh, Gizen. What's his name then? Uh, Gizen, I think. There's a nice scoring run there by Hasley. He's made about four or two yards short of the halfway. Here we go with the Angelo, the brother, the lock. He's made a meal of that, mate, but he, he's done some good work early on, so that's OK. Fan, it was a difficult one. He had to go for it. But Phil Host won't be happy. He'll, he'll probably prefer that he uh, let it go over the sideline to give uh, Polding the feed. Sign on, Cameron Anderson. All right, half time break. We had Gillen up there with Brownie. Luke Baxter's doing some stuff in the first half with Peter Fitzsimons. They're not coming out in the second half. It's just not the same. And I think if they don't get their act together, it's going to be all over. 
Baxter now with the ball. He's thrown a wild woolly pass again. Straight in the hands of Stratford. Come on, Baxter. Think about your game. You've got the skill. Use him, son. They've gone to the blind now. Oh, he's good at going run. Oh, Brian brings him down. Now it goes out to Angelo. Back to his brother, Angelo. Well, it is true. Angelo now to Hatton. He'll run straight. No, but Goodwin wraps him up. Hasler now to Burke. Burke bounces off one, two, throws, throws a ball with Angelo. Kev Hollins now stealing the ball. He's caught on the quarter line. Well, come on, ref. Get him off him. Well, he's on the quarter line. Goes a boiler now. Back to Willie. Stop and start. No. He's run out now. Look at that. Look at the way he's just bounced. Well, well, Luke Baxter runs up, bounces um, hat and right off, and then scurries around. Here we go. Uh, oh, Flash, he's having a blinder, isn't he? I just noticed uh, Phil Host disappointed with Baxter's run there. He wants him to run straight and keep running straight. Here we go. They've switched the play. It's to Fitzsimons. Oh, beautiful pass. Here goes Kev Hollins. He's having a great game. He's made. He's beaten one. Beautiful run. 20 yards game by switching the run there, mate. Well back, Darby. He's just done all the right things. Now it should be back ball. They've given it out. Duggo, he's moved into 5'8". He's through. Oh, Bowdy's with him. On. Bowdy's got pace. He's inside, but he's preferred to go out. Bad pass. Oh, gee, they've made a mule of that again. Should have gone inside to Bowdy, I thought. Bowdy had the pace. He had the skills to go on with it. Well, Duggo, you've done the right thing. Why make a mule of it, son? If you can't get the good pass away, don't give it at all. But he didn't look on the inside. Bowdy was there, so I think he should have uh, had a look. But a uh, oh, fine run here, Duggo. Well done, son. But just uh, think about next time. Good push over here, but they've got the ball. He's the, uh, I think he's a replacing winger. Oh, no, is it Starlo? Strallo. Well, this, that, that actually is, no, hang on, there's a replacement there. Might be Marsden or Williams. Let's call him Bonham. Bonham? No, 15 on, actually. W. Williams now on. I don't know, we just missed a replacement then. There's Hatton now. They made a great scoring run up here. He's gone to the blind. Oh. Forward. Good ruling from Terry there. I'll give that to him. I'll, I'll, I'll pat a guy on the back when he's done a good thing, and that's the first good thing. Well, that's all he's done all day, Mick. Well, he won't going to get a rap off me. I'll give you the drum. Oh, he's, no. had a, he's had a shocker, mate. You've got to admit the man's had a shocker. I'll tell you what, though. The touch judges have had a, had a blind, and they have had a very good game. You've got to give them that. Well, how does he call that a knock-on? The foot has come out. That's got to be a penalty. Mick, come on. The man is hopeless. Yeah, Terry uh, Tunkinus, this is not his best game. Not the best game I've seen on him. Back in the days when he was ref in third grade, he was doing better than this. Can't handle the pressure of second grade, perhaps. Bear, they're standing flat. Bear just was, didn't even want the ball. They don't want the ball. Sheridan now to play it back to Baxter. What will he do? He runs hard and straight now. He's made a good yard. Well done, Baxter. That's the way you've got to do it. Wouldn't hurt to shoot it out of the backs now, but they've gone the blind. Fitzsimons, he's done it again. He's beautiful. Here goes Sheridan. Good run up to the 50-yard line. Now they've got to swing it wide. They've called for the passage. Here goes Goody. He's running hard. What's he going to do? He's passed it off. Beautiful. Bowdy. He'll get creamed. But he's gone over top. That's a beautiful pass. O'Brien now. Fenn, he's got room to move. Where's he going to go? He's not going nowhere. He's tackled again. They've lost 10 yards there. All they needed was a simple backline movement. They, they could have been in. O'Brien now, he's taken up to the 45-yard line. Make 10 yards here, Mick. That's a fine run for him, the centre. But they've got to do something. They've got to get it organised. They've gone for the downtown. Oh, no. Oh, oh geez. Uh, Fitzsimons, he's running close to getting a penalty there for kicking the ball away. Mate, the, the old game of uh, last week against SRA, just shoot, oh, uni, sorry, Macquarie Uni, grooming in mistake, mistake, mistake. Come on, fellas, think about it because it'll be too hard in the big GF. Good push, though. Well, Terry, come on. That's what he's like, Terry. He sees the side going and win it against the feed. you yeah, got to call it up because they must have been doing something wrong. Well, it, well, he's made up for it, Mick. You see, he just turns around. Why didn't he just let it go? Phil has a worried man as we look down on him from our commentary position. I think Stokes, he's warming up somehow. Number 19, Stokes. I don't know who he'll be going on for. Sykes, is it? Stokes. Well, I knew a Stokes once. Um, did a lot of fires. There, yeah, well, it's actually Sykes. Fenn now, he throws it into uh, Boylan. I hate to say this, Paul, but I think Dupre is warming up. Dupre is warming up. It could be a sad day for rugby league, ladies and gentlemen. Boylan now to Whipsaw, the run around with Boylan again. Sheridan, 
Turning back in, he's made broken one, but caught by the second. Quick play the boy, Boylan now. The run around, switch back to Brown. Now here's a chance, Brown runs strong. Oh, the only time I thought he should have given it and he's run straight with the ball. Ipso now, Sheridan, the bow, what can he do? Well, not the best game by Bowdy, be quiet. All quiet on the Western Front. I'll tell you what, the prey is warming up, and I think Hosty plans to use him in a bit closer to the play than on the wing, I'd say. I'd say he, he could be coming into a halfback or 5-8th roll. Well, Sykes now moving up to the sideline. This will be interesting. Well, thank you, Terry. You've just made another huge goop. Well, come on, touch touch. Get him on. Sykes, who's he calling to the sideline? It's Goodwin. Well, I... No, it's not Goodwin. There's a few calls going on. It may be Goodwin. Well, there you go. I said the touch judges have done well, but how do you explain that? That was a stoppage in the play. Why doesn't he take the player on? Well, he's got two reserves down. He's got the prey and Sykes. So more... Get him on! Well, you know, why... why did, I don't know. There's some idiot in near the commentary box. I'm telling you, we've warned him. Against... Well, here we go. What a run. He's Burke. He's broken through. He's given it now. Oh, he gave it to Williams, and Williams puts it down. I'll tell you what, I'll give it to Kev Hollins. He saved that. That would have been a try if that Kev Hollins here. Beautiful tackle around the legs. He's having a blinder. Bit Simons now running across, but he's broken two. He's just caught as he straightens up. Well, no dummy half there. He goes Ipso. Brown. Dummies to flash. Caught, though, with the ball. Ten up. Past the quarter line. Now to Ipso. Well, he's gone the blind. No one there. He's going to kick. It was on. It's over the head. That'll go out. Will it? Won't it? No, it's just kept in. Well done. Well, Fenn's up there. This is a great chase. If he catches him here. Oh, well, he misses him, though. Well, you've got to give it to Fenn. At least he was up there. Where was the rest of the team? They're tiring. They've got to do something. That's when right. they get Where the ball. The you just can't have one. You've got to have two or five, mate. When they get the ball, back's ball. Anyway, here goes Strathfield. They're giving it out, they're just running it up. They're just running it up uh, one at a time, but it's working for them. They're making 10 yards every time, you can't complain about that. Here they go, still carrying to the blind. They've got big men out here and they're going well. Ooh, hit over the top from Baxter, didn't get pulled up for it. Mind you, Terry wouldn't notice that. Now back's ball, no, he's gone for the kick. Kev Hollins will pick this up, he's having a blinder. Or is he gonna let it go dead? He's got all the skills, hasn't he? He's done well again there. He's only done one thing wrong in the whole game, and to tell you the truth, because he's done so many good things, I can't remember what that was. Now, oh, he's finally decided to bring on the reserves, and what did I say? Dupree, he's gone into the 5-8th roll. Bowdy, he's off. He's had a bit of a quiet one, but he'll be there in the grand final. Baxter off. Sykes on. So it'll be interesting to see the shuffle around the backs. Well, Bowdy, I don't know whether he's crook or something, but uh, Dupree, fresh reserve, he'll do fine. Just don't be... He thinks about his game and doesn't make silly mistakes like those, the rest of them. Well, they've dropped the ball Mick, time after time, mistake after mistake. They really don't deserve it so far in this second half. Played well in the first half. Here's Sykes now. Kuhn has mustered. Fenn now. Boiling with a ball. Knocked back, though. It'll be six to go. Well... Comedy of errors. they got to come on, college. Where's the big nose and the floppy shoes, Mick? There's a lot of clearing around going on here from Castle Hill. Oh, come on, Terry. Do the right thing, son. See, I told you, Mickey, he's going to get him back into the game. What a stupid ref. Here he is. He's going to square it up here. Yeah, good one, Terry. You give us the penalties in our own quarter and them 10 yards out straight in front. What can you say? Well, all I can say to Terry is don't bother packing your bags next week, son, because you're not refereeing. Uh, you know, Dupre, it's good to see him pulling his socks up. I don't like to see a footballer with his socks down, but he could have the right socks on. I mean, something that Dupre is, he always has to do something really stupid and ridiculous, and he's done it again today by wearing completely different socks than everyone else. I mean, he's gone in, he's replaced possibly uh, the best-looking footballer well, look at his in the world. I mean, They've got the two points. That's 10 all, that's dangerous now. As I was saying, he's replaced Bowdy, possibly the uh, best-looking, uh, best-dressed footballer on the field, and look at Dupre. He's got, he's got Lane, Lane Cove shorts on, he's got... Paramatamara socks, uh, I don't know what to say, but his hair is done. And he's looking cute, isn't he? Well, there he goes. He, well, he touches the ball for the first time and knocks it on. <laughs> well, come on, pray, get off. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Ipso with the ball. They've got a fire up now, Castle. Not enough venom in their attack and defence. Come on, fellas, work for it. 
Bray now giving orders. Well, don't you listen to him. He doesn't know what he's doing. Well, a bit of a wait there in the... Uh, this is Angelo with the ball. Sykes now, beautiful tackle. That's why they need a fresh forward. Now it goes to, to Angelo again. I think the brother. OK, that's the hooker now. Gizen gives it out to the new replacement, Williams. Gizen again a dummy half. Gives it, gives it now to Angelo. He puts the boot to it, puts a foot to it. Oh, saves the bank. Here he is. The prey socks down again. Ridiculous, isn't it? Well, he's picked up Fenn. He's come around. Fenn's gone inside and left him running out wide. Oh. Fenn, you don't do things like that, son. Rugby league is a winner. Not you, son. <laughs> Flash now with the ball. He's broken away. Broken two. He's up to the quarter line. Still giving him. Oh, the prey just looked at him and refused to catch the ball. He's having a shocker. He's on five minutes and refuses to touch. Well, that was four. Come on. Simo. Oh, he's been held back. Come on. Uh, Terry's got no idea, mate. We saw that from our commentary position. We were about 300 yards away from the game. Well, we that... saw it. Terry couldn't see it. Well, Terry didn't see it, but the touch judge was right on it. Come on, fellas. Wake up to yourself. You can't expect this touch judge to watch back play, mate. He, can't, he doesn't even know how to bring reserves on. This was not back play, mate. This was up with the ball. You know what you're going on about. Well, look at that feet. Come on, Terry. Well... I don't know. Well, Dupre now going high, refuses to go low in the early stages. Anyway, so if you want fish, just get down to Da Costi Brothers. Oh, Da Costi Brothers, they're beautiful fish. They had a crab there the other day. Still scratching. Well, he's offloaded again. That's, oh, mate, that, that Burke and, and Hatton, they've just combined well today. Angelo, he's Hatton now. Brought down by Dupre. That's better to see him go. Oh, well, he's on. He's made a stupid mistakes. Phil Host worried me. I tell you what, they're going for the goal. That that'd be taking the angle into account as well. He'd be 50 yards away there. I can't believe it. He will not get this kick. He's just giving the ball back to Polding here. Well, I've worked that out. Well, this is not their game, but they can keep because of the uh, the soccer that's born into them. Ross Coleman may run on and probably have a go at kicking this, because I don't see him doing it. I hate to say this, but it's one of Dave Daly's jokes. The only thing this guy, I forget. It's bad. No, well, you go on because you'll probably get a laugh from Dave Daly. I don't think he even knows Conlon. Yeah, the only, the only good thing about this guy's goal kicking is that he knows Ross Conlon, mate. That's it. Thanks, Dave. Yes, well, thanks to me. Conlon's just been put off here for the rest of the game. It goes now. The Sykes, come on Sykes, run it hard, he does, he makes it the quarter line. Boiler now, a dummy half, he runs himself, gives it inside to Fitzsimons. Prey bagging up, but didn't seem to want the ball enough. Boiler now. Uh, ten all, now Sykes with the ball, straight hard run, fine run there by Sykes. Bit of venom now brought back in, come on fellas, we're going to weld him. Here he is, well... If so, you've got to go for touch. What the hell is this stupid fullback doing? Kelly. Sykes now brought him down with uh, Kev Hollands. They play the ball. Williams takes a scurry on the blind. If so, low. Fitzsimons over the top. Gizzard now. Gives it to Angelo. Gives it to Hatton. Makes fine yards. He's short. Hatton's run well all day. He's had a top game, hasn't he? He's been the major force behind the Strathfield uh, comeback. And here we are. They're about 48 yards out. Uh, Polding putting in a good effort. They've got to keep them down here. Now it's out the back line. They don't seem to use their back line. Ooh, that's a head high there from Dupre. Is that what they call by game break? And I call that head breaking. And here we go. It's, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What can I say about that, Paul? It's gone. They've given it straight to Sheridan. They know he's dangerous. He'll beat this boy. He's right around. He's through. They won't put him out. Stop start, mate. The man knows he can got the pace to outrun these fellas. Why didn't he lap it on? Kev Hollands again. He's made a good well, five yards, as always. What a game. What a game. I thought Brown would be the man of the match, but I think it's Kev Hollands. Sykesy, big, good run. He's made 20 yards and good well, replacement. Come on, mate. He's made up for last week's game in about five minutes. Well done, Sykesy. The prey game breaker. Here he goes. He's made 10 yards. He's redeemed himself. Half, halfway now. They must bring it blind. Mind you, there's gaps on both sides. Here it comes blind. Ipso, he's gone for touch. Well, That's a beautiful kick. We can't see from our no, position here, but the fullback's got it. He's coming across. He's got pace. 
Kelly, good run from Kelly Dupre, the game breaker. I tell you what, for a game breaker, you can tackle that boy. Well, that's a bad mistake by Castle. No chases. No one knew there was a kick on. No one up there. And they've just made 40 yards. Well, it's 10 all here, and the pressure is virtually unbearable. Now, Strathfield, who refused to use their back line, but mind you, why would they when they're making 10 yards every time up the centre? But when you've got runners like Hatton and Boot, mate, that are making 20 yards every time they touch the ball. Hang on, here they go now. They've used the back line, and, uh, well, maybe that explains it. Well, that does explain it, doesn't it? They're a huge goob out there at Strathfield, aren't they? In their back line. But the forwards are done fine. i tell you what. i tell you what, the last 10 minutes of this game is going to really show in Strathfield. Big blokes like Hatton and Burke, they're going to find it tough. This uh, Strathfield back line could be so bad, there could be room for you and me in there, I reckon. And we haven't played footy for 20 years, mate. Don't push your luck. Well, that's a good push over here we go to. Hey? Uh, thank you, uh, Sideline 9, Cameron Anderson. Uh, Damien O'Brien, he, he's coming on. Who would he be replacing, uh, Cameron? Uh, uh, Cameron Anderson seems to think he's uh, replacing Borland. I'd agree with that. Uh, Damien O'Brien, a prolific uh, winner of the ball against the food pool. Yes, mate, he does fine in this crumb. He's a fine player. Played him in, in, in the tour of 86. He done fine in that tour, and he's come out here today in the big blue jersey, and he'll do fine for uh, Castle Hill. Well, I mean, he, he did his trade in third grade, which is possibly the hardest comp in the world. Now here he is in second grade. He'll have no problems. Yeah, well, actually, he's got a vice captain in third grade for next week's grand final. Well, there you go, Hatton again with a solid hard run. I like forwards like that. Forward play. Good. All they got to do now, give it to Burke on the burst, and that'll be it. That'll be in. They'll be in, but they didn't do it. What are they going to do, Strathfield? They've been making plenty of ground up the middle, and that's what they're going to keep doing. They're setting up for a field goal here. He's Andrews. Setting up for a field goal. No, they've silly taken it out wide. Should have gone for the field goal. They're disorganised. They're in disarray. Who's the skipper out there? He's a field goal. Andrews. Charge it down. Not a good kick. Come on, Trev. That's gone dead. That'll be... Well, uh, Terry will probably say it's a goal line dropout, but I'm here to tell you, Terry, it's a 22 tap. OK, boiling off. Uh, fine game, boiling. Fine game. He's knobs now. First touch of the ball gives the brownie. Well, he's walking there offside. Well, Terry's not bringing back and just yelling, get back. Well, how's we going to lose the prey now? He steps, he starts, he stops again, goes back to the blind. Well, he's caught it's with creamed. the ball. Gets creamed by Hasler. Now nods with the ball, gives it to Sykes. Look at this run by Sykes. He's almost up the halfway line. That's what they need. I tell you what, he's heard our criticism from the bloody sideline and he's having a blinder, isn't he? Here comes Trev Fenn. Well, it's flash. flash. Oh, I thought he was going to give it to Trev Fenn, but he's going himself. Here goes Fenn now. Is he going to keep the ball alive? He's, he's still making yards. He's got props on him. He's still making. Now it's knobs. Players, out mate. to whip so. Brownie, he's, he's hanging out wide now, and he's dangerous out wide too. Dupre. Oh, Duggo. Oh, Brian, he's got the he's pace. He's got the pace. He's, he's, he's all the way. He's got the down. Jordan. Try time. Beautiful try. That's 14-10. Don't stand up. Excitement plus here, ladies and gentlemen. They've scored on a try. A great, but Dupre's down, injured. He's been hurt to pray once again, but what a fine try by O'Brien. It's what they needed. It's what they needed. Oh, that came about because of the forwards. It was obvious. Sykes' 20 metre run here, straight to flash and across to Brownie out to the backs, and it was all over. It was a great run. The forwards had in the first half, and now they've come true to form in the late in the second half, and they'll be in the grand final next week. Well, thank you, Cameron. That was great. Uh, he, he, I think he said it all. The new forwards have come on and really blitzed them up. There, great replacement there by. Uh, I think the the credit's got to go to Phil Host, the coach. He brought on the replacement at the right time. I feel. Only seven minutes remaining. Here comes the kick now. Make way for the uh, goob on the microphone again. He's here. He goes. Listen for this. <laughs> Waiting for him now. Here yeah, he's got it in his mouth. There he is. Well, uh, seven minutes ago, Stratfield and Harry Ball, they're, they're flustered. Look at their forwards walking back. Well, fine kick down now. Goes to the safest man ever. Sheridan, there he goes. He'll probably break the first one. No, he hasn't. He's caught on the quarter line. Fine tackle there by Williams. He's had a fine game when he's come on as reserve. Brown now, the man that made the damage. He's run across Verl. He's lost ground. Well, they're still keen, is Strathfield. There's about five to go. Goes to Goodwin. Still going to pray now. He was hurt. Back play. He's made over the quarter line, but fine run there. O'Brien out of dummy half. He'll go the blinder, Phil. No, he's got it back now. Fitzsimons. He'll kick it right out of the ground. It's 
down the throat of the winger. That's Starlow, I think, or McCauley. Caught there by Goodwin. That's good chasing in Ipso. Let him go. Here's Dows. Cool with the ball, though, by Ipso. Goes to Angelo. Gives it on to Williams. Williams caught 10 yards in, in the Castle Hills half. Gives it now. He makes a scurry. He's made a good 15 metres. He's almost up the quarter line. He's Williams to Angelo. Angelo out to, his, out to uh, Andrews. Back to Angelo. Knobs brings him down, I'd say, about 10 yards short of the 25. Oh, look at that chase by Dupre. Put of a scurry on him. Well, that bombs has gone straight up and down. They want to let it go. But no, Ipso's taking a fine ball. They want to kick it out of here. Yeah, well, they've got to settle it down first, and they've got to keep settling it, uh, Polding, and just take it easy from now on. But if a chance comes for a try, they've got to take it. Sheridan, another good round. I reckon uh, one more run and then downtown. Paul? Yes, you're right there, Mick. Well, Nobs takes a bit of scurry. No, he gives it a flash. The man that's had a brilliant game. Well, another replacement coming on. I think we, we look down there, that's number 17, uh, 17 Harrington. I mean, also a replacement for uh, Strathfield. That's number 16, Bonham. Ipso now, Dupre, Brownie, runs around, Dupre with the ball. Caught though, a bit scared. Oh, whoa, what a tackle. Terry says nothing about it. Last tackle though. Ipso now to Goodwin. Will he kick? Well, Goodwin, he's just put in a fine kick. Fen up there again, once again. For a man with absolutely no ball skills, that wasn't too bad a kick. And now he's piling, he's made a good run there. Is that Strallow? That's on the 14, mate, Marsden. Marsden, he's had a good game since he's come on too. And now this guy, he's making a lot of room to pray. Can he get him? He's around five blokes, this boy. Kev Hollins will get him. He always gets his man. But they, he got the ball away. And I tell you what, Paul, they've just made uh, 50 yards off broken play and the ball's still alive. Here goes the halfback. He's had a blind at Angelo. Now they're, they're calling it for backs, boy. Ken Polding saw themselves. Oh, beautiful oh, well play by O'Brien. That dummy half, he stalled. He had to give it to the backs. Now Polding have had a chance to regain their back line and he's dropped the ball. Oh, look oh, at that, look boy. At no, excuse me, you're on Strathfield side. You're not on Polding. Oh, he's out. Well, he's out, mate. He's, he's in Gargo. He's gone. But Strathfield still. He won't even know the score. Get him on. Get the red cross on. Still putting the pressure well, on. Well, he's a go. Close to the line. They're two yards out here. The pressure's on. All they need is a converted try, and they're in. It's gone to Angelo. Oh, oh Brownie. Geez. Brownie's Burke. had a blinder, hasn't he? Berkey, sorry. Burke. Well, he's gone close. But that's the last tackle, and that's good defence from Polding. They, mind you, they need a good defence after that terrible defence. Look at that. That's a penalty. Terry, like I what said, he always ball, gives mate, you the penalty. Who knows? He doesn't know what it's for, mate. Art oh, was for back chatting. <laughs> when in doubt. Well, Fitzsimons is there. Chucking the ball away and back chatting. Double penalty. Brian down to Fitzsimons off. Brownie, must make touch Brownie uh, call from the sideline there. Brownie must make touch. Who could ever doubt it? Oh, I doubt if Brownie's ever missed touch in his life. And we've got a guy with uh, a knee with about 15 foot worth of bandaging on it. Uh, Paul, who's that? Number 15. Uh, two knee, mate. Two knee. Two knee. Terry knee. Terry knee. Uh, and now it's O'Brien. They're working fancy moves this late in the game. Bonham, mate. Bonham. Bonham. Brownie makes another gap. Now it's out to Ipso. They should just settle it down now. Ipso, he's made 20 yards. Beautiful run. Now what will they do? Harrington's on as well. He's well, another game breaker. How good he is. He how good will. Is. Look, he'll just tell you. He's made halfway. He'll tell you after the game how to run. Well, there's no need for us to comment on him, mate. He'll let us know what he did. Well, Ipso, it's gone, it's gone to Sheridan. They're just settling it. Oh, geez, that's a change. That's found touch is it no it's play on that's off uh, off Strathfield if uh, the touch judge knows anything he's, he's, he's ruled well, well. well, well. now this scrum if Polding could win this against the food I think that'd be it I'd say that's close to time mate he's got his hand on the hood if we look down there just go fondling with it and they have one it against it. the feed here goes Ipso just settle it down now take it up for five and then think about something fancy Host, he's called for Harrow to settle up, and he'll do that. He'll do it all day, Harrow. He makes 10 yards every time. Hooter. He's got his hand on the hooter. Can't be less than a minute ago. So now Sykes, Sykes, he's just going to take it up. Oh, he passed it. Flash is going to score for something different. He's still going. He's still going. Sykes is in. Uh, that's the end of the game, and that's a beautiful win from Polding. There's a bit of a scuffle there with Kev Hollins. 
Uh, traditional end to a semi-final. They're heated, those boys. A bit, a bit of biff didn't hurt anyone. Well, a fine Never hurt game anyone. come out in the second half there, right at the end. Well, well done. A fine game there between the, the two uh, top sides. Well done. Well, both teams played very well. 3-2-1 uh, points, Paul. Well, mate, I think Flash has got to get a couple of points in there. Uh, O'Brien also with a couple of points. Um, well, I'd say my man of the match. Well, hard to pick, mate, hard to pick. Well, I've gone the uh, three points to uh, Flash, two to uh, Kev Hollands on the wing. He might not have been in there much, but when he was in there, oh, he, man, he had, had a good one. Game. And I'd give the... Uh, it's a tough decision. Could be Ipso. Could be O'Brien. He did, he did well. Oh, I'll get there. And there I was Brownie. So. There was Brownie, mate. There was Brownie. Well, he had a quiet game, but he's done his job. He's done his job. Well, we'll give him equal points. Uh, one point to uh, O'Brien and, uh, and Brownie. Well done. Though. Well, they'll see you in the grand final next week against Macquarie Uni. Good luck, fellas, for next week because I think you're going to need it. But well done, anyhow, Castle Hill. The whole three grades who are there. What a what a week, what a year, what a game. Still down, Phil Hayes. Still not happy, man. But training will see them out. Well, there they are. They're uh, basing a great win. Well, good luck to you, fellas. They're all smiles. A few beers and a, and a steak sandwich. It's, that's rugby league at its best. Well done. Copy book 5-8, all the way from Castle. Well, uh, fine win there, mate. They're lucky to pull it out of the bag when they came back there and brought it to 10-all. Were you worried at all? No, mate. I uh, thought we had them all the time. We just, we just made it uh, a little easier for them. For them. And then, uh, well, I, you know, I think goodness and holiness came through in the end. Well, yeah, well, well done. But uh, did you find that, that uh, they came out in the second half with a bit more fire and sting in their, in their play? Oh, yeah, mate. mate they uh, could side that, and they'll go all day. And um, I think a few, few of us played the penalty for carrying injuries into the game. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, what I'd like to say is that uh, when they beat you 41-0, I think they, they had the soil lodge of any over you in when they first started. That's a big word there by Donk. But uh, anyhow, um, we, we we, we used, uh, did you think it took them a bit easy in the first half when you should have actually scored more points? No. OK, well, thanks, Peter Bauer, as we, uh, we'll, we'll uh, just get me in the match, which is uh, Flash. We've got men all over the back. Well, well done, Flash. Congratulations on that great win, mate. And uh, me in the match, was, uh, we'd just like to hand you over the big check there. Uh, congratulations. Uh, I just like to uh, say you, you, you did a bit tough out there, but when you got the ball, you made the breaks, and that's I think you held the team together. Uh, thanks, mate. Um, well, the thing was, I was always caught budging on the blind, and the ball just happened to come that way. So, um, you know, I just did what I can. Right. Well, have you, have you, have you, piss off, bitch. <laughs> have, you, have you ever thought of being uh, like... Um, um, taking up a sex score or anything like that? A what? Sorry? Oh, a oh, sex scholarship? Um, well, no. Um, actually, I've been offered one, you know, like girls are playing prom. Well, I've heard rumours that I've heard rumours of next year that you, you're actually thinking of going to Macquarie Uni. Is this true? Is, is the money bigger and better over there? Oh, uh, yeah, but they've got no team spirit. Um, you know, like, don't go up the clubhouse, have a few beers, have, see this big fat guy commentating on the games and things like that, you know. So it's All right, so you will be back with the uh, the old Blues again next yeah, year? I, if, if, yes, if I'm still in Sydney. A few country clubs, you know, they've been giving me a few, you know, nice offers, houses, farms, stuff like that, so I just have to wait and see. OK, thanks. Good luck for the grand final there, Flash. Thanks very much. I'd just like to thank um, Don Truck Drivers for the cheque of $2 and um, also for Channel Don. Thank you. Thanks very much. Well, as... Oh, excuse me? Uh, the manager, Peter Bowen. Um, just before I go back and join the uh, the charges in the dressing room, just one comment. I think rugby league was the winner. Thanks very much, Pete. Well, there you see Thanks very much, and uh, we'll see you next week. Same time, same place. I'm Paul Longan, signing off. Bye-bye.